Hi, I'm here to talk about Characters for Hire, the company that does not like paying freelancers, and also the company that uh, will bully, threaten, and harass you if you write a bad review and speak up about them. So what happened was is that um, usually when you're working with them, they're very they're very fast and they're helpful. But when it's time to get paid, they start like ghosting and disappearing. Um, they would give excuse after excuse, giving you the runaround. Before you know it, like seven months later, I got paid. And this was after me pestering them, and um, they would uh, kind of like I would have to be on top of it. Um, and, uh, they would give excuse after excuse. And then like, eventually I finally got paid. And then a few months later, they told me that they updated their payment system. So, um, they're willing to, uh, hire me again. And I said, okay, I want a deposit first. And they said, that's fine. They sent me a deposit very quickly. And then I did both of those jobs. And then, uh, and this involved me not just doing makeup. I went and did props, costumes, wigs. Uh, I made my own prosthetics just for the event. And I got paid nothing for it. They started delaying it again and again. And they kept saying, oh, you know what? Your check was sent out. Your check wasn't sent out. Your check was uh, processed, but it wasn't sent. Your check, you're, we're redoing our system. So it was always excuse after excuse. Um, and then one day they just started ignoring me again and again. So because I wasn't getting anything from them, I posted a review saying I was not paid. They immediately messaged me and said, you have 24 hours to remove your review or we are going to sue you for defamation. I said, everything I wrote is true. You have not paid me. And they said, you have to remove it. So when I spoke to them on the phone, they said, in order for us to pay you, you have to remove your review and sign a contract saying you can't speak badly of this company. Now, I've seen that they don't pay people and it's been an annoying process to get paid for them. So I didn't trust them. And I said, I'm not signing it until I get paid. You can pay me and then I'll remove my review. And they were yelling at me. They were scre screaming at me. They continued threatening to sue me. And they eventually blocked me. I tried taking them to court. Their address doesn't exist. The ones online are fraudulent. So there's no nowhere to send lawsuit paperwork to. Um, I'm trying to sue them. I told them that they have court. They are purposely not showing up. And they blocked me. And they have done this to many, many other people. I started speaking and I did a lot of research I did a, like I spoke to a lot of people and they've done this to a lot, a lot of people and they're not getting paid publicly. Their re re response is Beatrice. We cannot legally pay you because you haven't signed the IRS paperwork. That's a lie. They don't require any IRS paperwork. They're just saying that publicly to make it seem like it's my fault. But they have been very rude to me. They have been harassing a lot of people. They have been threatening a lot of people. But when you're trying to take them to court, they don't show up. And I have a lot of proof of them saying, you're not getting paid as long as that review stays up. Honestly, I knew that they were gaslighting me. They were telling me that I was wrong, uh, that I, I messed up the situation, and they kept saying it was my fault. For example, one of their events, I caught COVID at one of their events, and they specifically promised me, saying we will have COVID officers, we will have sanitation stations, and this was during the year 2020. So... COVID was still everywhere. I was probably one of three people in a very crowded indoor unmasked party and I ended up getting COVID and they blamed it on me. They said, if you felt uncomfortable, you could have walked out. But knowing them, then they wouldn't have paid me. I just think that what they're doing is not fair. Um, it's really easy to um, screw over an artist, a really hardworking freelancing artist. And most of the people I've spoken to, they're just learning it as like, they're taking it as a lesson and a loss. And I just don't think it's right that they're continuing to do this to a lot of people. I understand if they screwed one person over me, I'll take it as a loss. But the more I'm going public with it, the more people are reaching out to me and telling me these horrendous the stories of what this company is doing and they're removing reviews so that way nobody can warn anybody else so i'm trying my best to warn as many freelancers as i can that this company does not like paying people
and what they're doing is wrong. I want them to pay people properly. I would love for them to pay everybody who they have taken advantage of because they take advantage of people's services and then they just block them and don't pay them. I would love for them to pay everybody that they have taken advantage of. People are owed thousands of dollars and all this company does is just delay payment. Have They have fraudulent track checks. They make it very difficult to deal with them. I want them to change their behavior. I would love to get paid for my services too.